Welcome back tonight. People are left asking where's the money as a new texting scam targeting drivers is making its way across the country. Yeah, folks will remember we first brought you this story yesterday. We really want to help you get ahead of it now. Scammers are sending text messages telling drivers they have unpaid toll fees, but really it's just a ploy to get your money. It is WCNC Charlotte's Jane Monreal spoke with a security researcher who explains why this scam is so dangerous. In this particular attack, we're seeing an alert uh, that's being sent from a local looking area code, letting the victim know that they have an outstanding balance on their toll account. Security researcher Truman Kane says in this scam, criminals will usually only ask for about $50 to pay the outstanding fine. There's a link uh, that, that the attackers want victims to click. When they click that link, they're they're sent to a website that looks very similar to their local toll, toll authority website. But what if you click the link? What can scammers do with that information? Kane says quite a lot. Turn around and try to use those credentials at a number of other uh, kind of big software accounts and websites like email, Amazon, your bank. That's why it's very important to use uh, unique passwords for each of those. With this scam, criminals can get your VIN and license plate numbers and then possibly send you more specific personal attacks in the future. Hey, you have a vehicle that, that is recalled and you need to take further action. They're also going to bundle up that data and sell it to the highest bidder. Especially with scammers getting more creative these days, Kane says you really need to take a second to slow down when you get a text message that prompts any action. Attackers don't want you to think. They want to get you to click or take some action without thinking. So anytime you get something with a sense of urgency, you want to stop, take a minute and think, first, is this even relevant to me? If I'm not driving on toll roads, it's certainly not relevant. Exactly. Kane says if you fall victim to this scam, you'll want to first immediately change your credentials. Then you'll want to report the attack to the Internet Crime Complaint Center. We have a link to that website on our WCNC Charlotte news app. Colin and Vanessa. Yeah, I mean, there's always something new, right? That we got to be abreast of. Yeah. yeah, I mean, really, it needs to make sense for you. So if you don't yeah. use the tolls, like you said, you don't mm -hmm. want to click on the link. Yeah, don't do it. Yeah. You never know what scam might be around the corner next. Exactly. Jane, thanks. For